Hello everyone, Mr. Hendo here. Today we are going to finalize putting the camper in layup for the winter, winterizing it. So we've already drained all the lines and refilled them with the RV antifreeze. Now uh, we also bypassed the hot water heater, but remember you have to drain the hot water heater as well because it will be full of water unless you drain it. I recommend that if you have the if you ran it recently, you wait for it to cool down before you drain it. Otherwise, you are going to get hot water spilled all over yourself. Um, whenever I do this, I typically like to change out the anode that's inside of it, the sacrificial anode, because it's uh, relatively cheap. You can order them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, it's just something that needs to be done. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to do that. I have my one inch. 1 16th socket with a socket wrench and also I'm going to be using some Teflon tape and I have a light so uh, enjoy thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and turn on notifications for the channel for more useful tips and tricks all right let's move all the junk out the way and we want to be able to access the hot water heater freely notice I have a light so we can see this you want to open the vent first and remember don't do this if the hot water heater has been running because this water is going to be hot so I'm unscrewing the old anode and look at that gallons and gallons of water are coming out now if I hadn't done this this water is prone to freeze inside the hot water heater and that could cause the hot water heater to be compromised so here's the old anode and this is what it's supposed to do it's supposed to corrode before the inside of the hot water heater corrodes and all the materials inside of it so that's what we want that's why it looks so corroded notice the new one is new looking and that's how a new one should look so uh, this is a shot after the hot water heater has sufficiently been drained and what you want to do is take your new sacrificial anode and put the Teflon tape on it in a manner that when you rotate this thing in there to tighten it clockwise it's not going to unravel the Teflon tape and if you've ever installed Teflon tape you'll understand what I'm talking about okay so um, you want to put it in and make sure you give it some counter torque because uh, that rod is kind of long so it's going to be heavier on one end and you're going to have to finagle it a little bit to get it to fit perfectly so screw it in by hand you know hand tight first then go ahead come back with your 1 and 1 16th inch socket and tighten it because this is drained and we're going to have it in layup let's say for a little while you want to make sure it's nice and tight not too tight because uh, if you want to check it later on, which you probably will want to do, you don't want to have to uh, use a pry bar. There's a little, there's there's a limited amount of room in here because of the. Uh, if you notice, there's that gas pipe right above where I'm working, so I only have about, I would say, 30 degrees of uh, of play to tighten this thing, and that's it. I'll cover it back up. Feel safe that it's not going to break because of the water expanding when it freezes. Put all your materials away. Make sure you don't step on the dog. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications, and wait for the next one.